Hi, welcome back. You're with Vion. The world's longest aircraft, the airlander 10 airship, crashed during a test flight in Bedfordshire in central England. The airship was damaged when it came into land after its second test flight. However, no injuries were sustained by crew members. The 92-meter aircraft made its first test flight earlier this month. Once the concept is proven, the helium-filled giant will be able to stay airborne for up to two weeks. It can be used to carry cargo for surveillance, communications or leisure. The air lander can take off and land vertically and does not need a tarmac runway. It can also operate from open fields, deserts, ice and water. Some sports news now. FIFA's ethics watchdog has started formal proceedings against former South Africa football chief Kirsten Nemetendani and two other officials. All three face charges connected to match-fixing match international friendlies in 2010. The other two officials are former Zimbabwe Football Association official Jonathan Musa Vengana and former Togo national team coach Bana Chanile. A FIFA investigator proposed a six-year ban and a fine of 10,000 Swiss franc for Nematandani. He also suggested life bans for Musa Vengana and Chanile for, allegedly bribe, for alleged bribery and corruption violations. Staying with football, Ireland's most prolific goal scorer Robbie Keane has decided to call time on his 18-year-old career. Keane scored 67 goals and I for Ireland, which puts him at 15th place on the list of all-time international marksmen. The 36-year-old said he would retire from international football following Ireland's friendly against Oman on August 31st. Keane made his international debut in the Czech Republic in 1998 at the age of 18. With 67 goals from 145 games for Ireland under his belt, Keane is also his country's most capped player. The Russian Paralympic Committee is optimistic about the national team's participation in the Rio Games, this despite the Court of Arbitration for Sport turning down the committee's appeal against an all-out ban. However, their law consultants have given them hope, so much so that the athletes have not stopped their preparation and continue to train for the Games. Мы считаем себя полностью невиновными. Кстати говоря, это с позиции международного, международного паралимпийского комитета. Они никаких обвинений российскому национальному комитету не приводят. With that, it's a wrap on this bulletin. News and updates continue on the other side of this very short break. Do check out our website, vionews.com, for the very latest. Thanks for watching.